Boop. So we got the Logitech G920. Uh, I'm about to try to mod it right here and add a deep dish steering wheel. This is an actual steering wheel from real cars. This is the type of equipment that we use. Uh, I bought this Swave. It's by Runny Go or something like that. Originally, it was priced at, I think, 89 bucks or 69 It's on sale for like 59 bucks, 55 bucks. I'll place links in the description to this video. This is not a sponsored video or products are bought by me. Uh, with that being said, I also bought uh, the hub. You got to add like a little hub to it most people use like plastic or 3d printers i didn't want to do that this one here that i'm unboxing it's black metal with six bolts and that's what you need it's actually states when you buy it uh for logitech g920s but i just didn't want to put the bolt and add the wheel and just have it sitting there i wanted to be able to release it and take the wheel out so i bought a quick release budget friendly also on amazon but not even 30 bucks i think it's 27 dollars on sales a universal uh quick release i got it in red and black it's metal it seems sort of uh durable uh i seen a few guys that had a problem with it uh snapped off it broke but they put it in an actual real car but that's what they for, the quick releases. So you got to understand some of these things you can't be savage like with. We also bought a knob uh, for I think not even 12 bucks on sale on Amazon, a golden black uh, shifter knob, which actually fits the Moza handbrake, believe it or not. <laughs> so I may use it for that because I have a katana sword. The little black pieces that I just pointed at, they go there like the 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter for the metal uh, shifter stick. Those things are like a hard plastic and I didn't like them. But we'll utilize them unless I find from the other ones around there. I'd rather use the rubbery ones. So uh, this toolkit is amazing. I've had this toolkit for years. Uh, since I started building PCs, since my first PC built, I never in my life bought a pre-built. So I was able to do this whole mod for the Logitech G920 with this toolkit right here that doesn't even cost 20, well, it's probably 20 bucks right now on Amazon. And I'll place those links in the description also. But this is a must have. This is like a, awesome tool bro i go you need it has like this you see the little blue thing there the handle it actually pulls you pull on the metal part and it gets like long so you need that to get in them little corners behind the logitech g920 there's about eight seven screws back there i don't know um uh, there's a lot <laughs> and you need to get them little screws out and you need to get deep in the corners and you're not going to reach with a regular thick screwdriver or whatever you're using you need something that's pretty long so it came in handy uh the allen uh ones are there so it has all that i didn't even have to use although the both of the products that are there they come with Allen keys, which is the hub and the quick release. They send you like this little Allen wrench. They send you like two of them, I think, in the package. In each of them. So that was nice of them. I just added that to my collection of whenever I guess that. And they send Allen keys. So I have a bunch of those things, which is cool, right? Some of them are super cheap. You got to remove the buttons on the Logitech G920. So this is like a process. You get it? But this is something that I wanted to do. I've been upgraded to the Fanatic with a 
Simstan and all the Thrustmaster, Stick Shift, Moza Handbrake, but I said I was going to mod the Logitech. The screws are right back there. You see how I stretched out the tool, what I was talking about? It is a little, it's longer there now. That metal, you push down and it goes up and down. Pop is amazing, that tool kit, for not even like 20 bucks, if that. When I got it, you know, uh, uh, and I, to be realistic, I didn't even buy it. It was a gift, I think a Father's Day gift or something. So that was an awesome gift and something that I'll always, I'm always going to utilize it. So you have to remove the back of this, uh, the motherboard, should I call it, right? To this wheel that functions the buttons. The buttons got to be removed and you got to know where to put them after that. If you're going to keep that button set up. Me, I wanted to keep the button set up. A lot of people just take it off and take off the metal paddles or whatever. But I just needed that whole setup there because I needed the six bolts that are there. You see? So all I was trying to take out was the wheel. And it could be a little mission. And it could be discouraging if you don't know what you're doing. But there's millions of videos on YouTube that show you. So you watch those videos first and you're going to know. Like it's just anything after that is just common sense, right? So the reason for doing this, and a lot of people may say like, but you have a fan attack. I know, but I said, and you know, Fnatic, Moza, Thrustmaster, top of the line compared to Logitech G920. But for some apparent reason... The Logitech G920 was my first wheel, and I said I was going to mod it, and I like to keep my word. So I just felt like my journey wouldn't have been completed. Once I say something, I always like to keep my word and do it. It, it may not be exactly when I say so, but that's not my intent. I probably forgot or whatever, but when I recall... It's like, I said I was going to do that. I have to do that. So we got it done. Let's see how it comes out. So it's also magnetic. So it holds your screws and all that so they don't fall all over the place. You want to keep your screws on one corner like I did there. I try to keep them as. Remember, I'm working on this little, on this desk. Well, it's not little, but I have a lot of stuff on my desk that I utilize for my streams my gaming, my content creation. So it's not like I have my desk clear, you know, and I cleared it up there. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of tech equipment laying around. So I, with the little space that I had, I was able to do that and showing that corner of the setup. Like there's more space to the table there. But anyway, those two screws right there were super hard to get out. Like if you don't know, what tool you need for it or whatever but you need to take those two out in order to get that piece out and they hit and behind the motherboard so that's a great thing to know when you go to mod this logitech g920 and i'm figuring that the g29 the g923 uh, and so on or logitech wheels have this that way because it's quite a security thing <laughs> It was awesome because it was hitting. I couldn't even, like, how do you get this out, right? So there goes the wheel, large attack, boom. Got him, got it out. Finally, you could tell I was happy. But it feels, the large attack wheel is super light after everything is removed compared to the wheel that you're about to see me try to put in there. So keep that in mind. Then I added alcohol uh, with Q-tips, 91% alcohol, just to clean it out because I always want to be clean. And you always want to clean your setup and your equipment, especially if you took it apart. Like, come on, now's the opportunity for you to clean it out, like to get in those cracks and all that dust has been accumulating. You've been using it or it's been sitting around. So I did that real quick just to... Uh, make sure that I didn't have to go back and open it later, right? Now, 
as I'm doing this, a lot of things went through my head. Like, why am I even doing this? Like, I have a fanatic with a sim rig, monitor, everything set up. But as a human being, I said, you know what? Once I'm done, it's going to be worth it. I spend about almost close to $200 on buying all this stuff. But it wasn't 200 It was like one something. But you know what I mean. Uh, uh, I just always do that. Once I crack a $100 bill, it's like it's gone, right? So I still ordered other stuff that you haven't seen. <laughs> but with that being said, I think it was money well spent. So those little buttons, like the the bottom little gray buttons that come on the, uh, I forget the, the alphabet letters, is LSB or something like that? I don't know. But uh, something with an L. Huh? Those little buttons have a little screw also. And you have to put that screw to the side to make sure that you don't lose. It's a little, little tiny black screw. So I wanted to make sure that the hub fit in there and it fit perfectly. So. Let's see. This, in order to understand certain videos, you got to watch the videos to the end. Oftentimes, we get discouraged and we want to hurry up. Get to the point. You're not going to learn nothing that way. You're not seeing nothing. You're seeing something real quick and you're helping the so-called creator not have to work at all. Right? And it keeps you, respectfully, a little more dumbed down. So you want to gain knowledge about what you're doing. So if you ever have to do it again, not that you did it by mistake. <laughs> you got it right by mistake. <laughs> so yeah, everything seems to be going along perfect at this time. So far, so good. So I thought I was just going to be able to sit down. And unfortunately, you got to get up because you got to try to fit the screwdriver or whatever you're using and them cracks. Remember the metal paddles from the, the, the side paddles, they, they in the way like hard. You can see I'm pushing up on it to get to those other screws and they could be a little tight. Remember you probably, you had this wheel four or five years. Maybe you just got it. Who knows? It could have been sitting up there forever. Those screws are tight back there and you're trying to get them out. And you got to dig in there. Let me know what you think about the video. If you want to see more content like this, I'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on and how's the wheel working out. Uh, does it get black ink on your hand because it's suave? Everybody's been saying that. So I'll give you a brief update on everything. Stay tuned. Thank you. I'm grateful. We did it, baby. <laughs> Now, this is where is that. You see those screws right there on the quick release piece that goes to the wheel? They have, like, a screw, the bolt. You know, you got to spin it and all that. So you could do it with your hand and an Allen, but you're going to need, like, a little tiny wrench of a sort, right? And to be perfectly honest, I did it with my hands and the Allen key. And they seemed pretty tight because my other wrenches were around there somewhere. And I didn't want to go to the kitchen closet, my storage closet in here. I just wanted to finish this. I said I was going to do it. I wanted to finish it. So this was it right here. Pop. That felt incredible to actually, again, say, I'm going to mod something or I'm going to do something and get it done. The feeling is unexplainable. It's like magic. Do you believe in magic? Bling! So stay up to date. I'm going to let you guys know how this whole wheel turned out. Does it leave ink on your hands like everyone is saying because it's sway? 